Hello, my precious friend. This is Bishop George Grandison Greppi. I want to discuss a very important issue with you, and that has to do with your soul. The Bible declares in Hebrews chapter 9, 27, that it is appointed unto man once to die, and after death, judgment. The Bible said there is a way that seemed right unto man, but the end thereof leads to death. Are you living for yourself or you are living for God? Today, I want to talk to you about your soul. A decision you must make today that will affect your destiny forever. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to encourage you that today, you will invite Jesus into your heart to become your Lord and personal Savior. The Bible said in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. The Bible declares in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 and 9, If we say we have no sin, we are liars, and the truth of God is not in us. But the Bible declares that if we acknowledge our sins and confess it, God is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins. Today, you need to come to that place where you know and you acknowledge that you know what? I have not always lived to please God. I have followed my own ways. I've done my own things. I've lived the way I want. But that's not what God means you to do. God wants you to live to please Him. And because we are all sinners by nature, we were born in sin. That is why God gave His only begotten Son that He should come and die and shed his precious blood on Calvary's cross. In John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not die, not perish, but to live and have an eternal life. Today, I want to present Jesus, the Savior. I made this decision decades ago, and today I'm living a full life. Hear me? If you die today, where will you go? The Bible makes us to understand in 2 Corinthians 5.10 that each and every one of us must appear before the judgment seat of Christ to render an account of how they lived their life whilst they were here on earth. On that day, what will you say? You can escape the wrath of God by receiving Jesus today. I want to appeal to you do not postpone this. Right now and right here, I want to pray this simple prayer with you. You want to say with me, God, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Jesus, I believe in you as the Savior of the world. And today, I repent of all my sins and I invite you to come into my heart that you will save me and be my Lord from today onwards, I pledge that for the rest of my life, I will live to please you and serve you the remaining days of my life. Amen. As simple as this prayer is, my friend, the Bible said if you sincerely pray this prayer, with a heart man believes and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if you sincerely pray this prayer, I want you to email me, call me, write to me, and text me and say to me, Bishop, I just prayed that prayer with you. I gave my life to Christ. And I will help you send you materials, books, and send you to our website and links that will help you to grow in your newfound faith. Hear me? Jesus is coming back soon. And you don't want to miss his second coming. I pray that this short moment with you, you've made a decision that will impact your destiny forever. God bless you. Get my information. Write to me. Send me an email. Drop me a text or WhatsApp. And I'll be glad to help you to continue to grow. God bless you. And bye for now.